it, it wasn't that Jacob Zuma who set up the commission. Yeah, it was Jacob Zuma who set up the commission. And then he put Z- he put yeah. Zondo there. And then he put Zondo there. Okay. After Ramaphosa's administration, yeah. what is going to happen? Will the Palapala dollars be left like that? Exactly. Or we'll have the next president going after him. Exactly. But like now, like can I can I say something? I don't believe the government didn't know about those type of things happening. The thing is so, the government. So right knew. now I, oh, I just think yeah, no, yeah, right yeah. now I just think when it comes to those cases, we're just being played face. Well DA is doing in this GNU is just they're just probably persecuting um the the, the rivals the biggest rivals That's which true. is the ANC they have and it's crazy know. how the ANC comes back to say the GNU is working the yeah. GNU is working it's to working expose the ANC to expose the ANC yeah. and at the end of the day that's why when we come to the next election oh. I don't see the ANC having more votes than the DA because <laughs> Chief Justice Zondo. What's up with him? Hmm? No, him leaving the office, retiring. Is he was he retiring? What? Oh yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, ceremony yeah. he had. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up with I the G? I remember when he came in. Yeah. Uh, you remember when there was a squabble between him and Jacob Zuma over the yeah the, the, that commission that was it, set up. Who's? Is it wasn't that Jacob Zuma who set up the commission? Yeah, it was Jacob Zuma who set up the commission. And then he put Z- the he put yeah. Zondo there. And then he put Zondo there. Okay. And then after putting Zondo there, yeah. Uh, I, I don't think maybe he expected to be summoned mm-hmm. to the commission. Okay. And then he was summoned, and then that's when now we ask Chief uh, Ra- Raymond Zondo to recuse himself. Oh. Because he felt like. He, uh, he had a certain paid, personal, a personal agenda. So, yeah, so I, I understand those part of laws. Like when you have a personal, ad, uh, you feel like uh, this case is you are personally, uh, you are personally affected by it. Yeah, yeah you, 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 you are advised to recuse yourself yes, from that. Yes. But then yeah. Jim Zondo refused. Yeah, because, yeah, and, and the thing, the narrative because of that was because the um, thing is, um, what's this one? Chief Justice Zondo, even with his uh, thingy his research on 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 state capture mm-hmm. like he was only focusing on like um uh, let's just say maybe jacob zuma yeah. but he wasn't focused on like the the bigger broad of like state capture in the sense of like even other businesses big businesses were captured maybe not even by him but like his perspective of state capture was like just maybe uh personally uh on against jacob zuma's on, case. on jacob zuma's I th- case i think he kind of made it worse uh, because you, as Jacob Zuma, you set up the whole commission, mm-hmm. and uh, you bring Chief Zondo to oversee everything. You give him the budget and mm-hmm. everything. Then he starts doing his work, and then later on, uh, during the state capture, yeah. most of the people who are implicated. I think if you check all the scandals that came mm-hmm. through, it was people who were linked to the Guptas. Yeah. So my, my, yeah, the problem is that like okay. It's like when we talk about state capture, people are only sure. talking about the state capture when only Jacob Zuma was in charge. Mm. But uh, what about now? I the state they, is not the, captured. I think, I think the bigger picture was ignored during that whole commission. Yeah, that's that's because mm-hmm. the state has been captured since 1994. Exactly. So when it's the white people who have captured the state, there is no noise. But now, because just because Jacob Zuma uh, decided to be in partnership or be captured by other people now it was a big problem when the white person is not in charge that's when there's a lot of noise but right now uh even da is in charge there's no uh people making noise of state capture this and that Mm -hmm. this and that Mm -hmm. it's just that um the power because of ramapos the power has been brought back to the to 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 the white monopolist capital and uh, yeah so there won't be any noise if maybe we we were sold out to russia there would be noise if maybe we we um, uh china was helping us out yeah with our next president there would be noise hey you guys are captured by the chinese you guys are captured by the egyptians or whatever matter when is like the white monopolist with there's no noise about it it it. it comes back to what we we spoke about before 
when we mm. said that um if you you check currently everything mm-hmm. is being politicized in SA mm-hmm. uh, i've seen uh the hawks no oh, yeah they they've started investigating all the crimes that were done by the time zuma was in power yeah almost everyone who might have benefited somehow mm-hmm. is being investigated and arrested and having their assets forfeited yeah. and even auctioned at the same time yeah. okay it's fine let's go back to the time before zuma was president mm-hmm. let's go back to the time mm-hmm. uh, uh, my, 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 this guy Mandela was president. Yeah. Mbeki was president. Yeah. Let let's look at that. Exactly. What happened? Because even then, that was the start of scale state capture, where you find one company now monopolizing everything. Mm. The same individual having a portfolio that controls almost everything that is supplied to the government, getting all the tenders to the government yeah. from the government. You know, you know what's funny about that is that. Right now, we can investigate the black people maybe for for doing all those things back then, even with Nelson Mandela. But do you think um, those tenders during apartheid, do you think people were paying for that? Are, are people actually paying for... Uh, did like white capitalists pay for the crimes they did during apartheid? No, no. Uh, I, you know, I can say they did not pay but also they put themselves in a more advantageous position okay. to still have access to those things. Look at yeah. the bid vest vets, for exactly. example. Okay. You, you go to every toilet, mm-hmm. anywhere in the mall, it doesn't matter where, mm-hmm. you're going to find the bathroom equipment for yeah. the vets, yeah. the, the everything for yeah. the vets. Yeah. So they have monopolized that. Oh, the okay. Check who owns that establishment. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But like my, 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 my point is like, uh, you know, like, you know, in terms of like even the crimes of Boy Eugene, Terra Blanche, all the crimes that we did, I mean, I mean, I mean like tenders were being monopolized back then. A whole lot of things were being monopolized that because like a whole lot of black people were, were closed out of information, were closed out even so. for bidding for tenders or closed out of all of this. So. But does the Hawks care mm-hmm. to investigate what happened in 1982? You know, I so because right now, right I now, I don't think they they're gonna go to that extent. I don't yeah. think they're gonna go to that far. Uh, oh um, man! I, I, you know, because if you check the existence of the Hawks, it's more mm. like the Scorpion. The mm-hmm. time when we had the Scorpion, yeah. what they were mandated to do. Oh, but the, 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 but the Scorpions were the real deal back in the day. Yeah, they because were the real but now I think they were disam- the, disam- disassembled. Yeah, and they were who disassembled them. The same politicians who were being investigated and who saw you what the Scorpions are about to do. You understand. So it, it just comes back to now as to, okay, I, I get it. Mm-hmm. You know, polit- uh, corrupt politicians have to face the music. Yeah. They need to be arrested. Yeah. It doesn't matter who they are, black or yeah. white. No, no, if you were corrupt, mm-hmm. you need to face the law. But the problem is when this law starts having eyes, okay. when it starts choosing you who know? they prosecute, who they're going after. Yeah. Can Why can't they go after everyone? Can can you allow me maybe to play the devil's advocate right now? Mm-hmm. Right now I'm looking at it in the sense of black people saw tenders being being monopolized, tenders being bribed for from the white people before we had the chance to even uh, get a hold of big tending for bid for, sure. for for tenders bidding for tenders and all those things sure. and then they're looking at it like okay they done it they done it mm-hmm. but they never got arrested mm-hmm. they never paid for it and then we're gonna do it sure. but now you cannot say why are you arresting me but that guy did it and i don't have proof of how that guy did it mm-hmm. you understand mm-hmm. but i'm just saying of course people are probably there how corruption was done back then now it's just because now they're claiming that the white person is in charge mm. every little thing has to be scrutinized so that the black person must pay end up being broke again end up having nothing again and, and also it, it comes back to that point where there's this if ever there's a certain administration that is in power and uh, they want to prove a certain point to people yeah uh, that's why I'm saying it seems like these uh, establishments, sometimes they have eyes who they're prosecuting, who yeah. they're going after. Definitely. Because if you check now who's currently in power mm-hmm. and all the people who are facing the music, who they were aligned to, mm-hmm. is the former president. Yeah. And now it goes again to ask 
you a question to say mm. after Ramaphosa's administration, yeah. what is going to happen? Will the Palapala dollars be left like that? Exactly. Or will have the next president going after him? Exactly. That's the Ramaphosa in himself. Like I'm just wondering, uh right now, how many months since we voted? What has the GNU really shown us so far? I'm just I, I think you you know mm-hmm. there if we are to talk about what has the GNU shown us thus far, uh there's quite a few things that they have done okay. which is quite commendable some of them. Okay, also let me know. Yeah, in term in at home affairs they were able to discover some maladministration that has been happening for the past maybe few years under the previous people who were there. And also a certain kind of corruption where IDs were getting sold, and oh. even you remember the Chidima, oh, yeah. the Chidima yeah. situation. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it was discovered by. Nah, you know what, bro? Like, now. like, can I can I say something? I don't believe the government didn't know about those type of things happening. The thing is, so, the government so right knew, now, I, bro, I just think, yeah, no, yeah, right yeah. now, I just think when it comes to those cases, we're just being played face, and, and it doesn't mean corruptions will end there. They yeah, will stay, yeah, it, you know. It, it, so it's just in you, jail, you, you know, a parade. You, you know, us, you know don't. that one of the parade. Mm. I, I agree with you, bro. Mm. But then remember, everyone who gets into power mm-hmm. wants to leave a lasting mm-hmm. legacy to the people, wants to mm. leave a good impression to the voters to yeah. say, I worked. But then yeah. now we've had the ANC that has been in power for so long that mm-hmm. there was never people, there were never an exchange of uh, uh, members who mm-hmm. were leading those cabinets. Like you have a DA member who's mm-hmm. leading this time, an ANC member, yeah. an EFF member who's going to come and try to prove the, all the incompetency of the previous leadership mm-hmm. because it always been ANC, ANC, ANC. I come, mm-hmm. I hide whatever that you've been doing. Mm. I also do the same. S- somebody else comes from the same party, they hide what I was doing, they mm-hmm. continue the same way. Mm-hmm. So, but then now with what is happening under the GNU, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that what the DA is actually doing? I, I don't necessarily think they're mm-hmm. doing good for the GNU, mm-hmm. but they're doing good for their party no, when well, it goes to the next election. Well, well, what I think maybe the well DA is doing in this GNU is just they're just probably persecuting um, the, the the rivals, the biggest rivals, That's which true. is the ANC. They've had their eyes. They've like it's it's like I feel like they've had files mm-hmm. on each and everyone who's ever done anything. And it's crazy. And it's crazy. And it's so crazy. Just going after them. And it's crazy know? how the ANC comes back to say the GNU is working. The yeah. GNU is working it's to working expose the ANC. To expose the ANC. Yeah. And at the end of the day, that's why when we come to the next election, oh. I don't see the ANC having more votes than the DA because now people are going to be like having more faith in the DA because now the DA are, are, are now exposing and arresting everyone we were crying about for this past 30 years. Mm-hmm. And then you go to uh, the portfolio that is led by Gaten McKenzie. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. the, I think he's minister or yeah, PA, minister oh, sports of sports and yeah. arts and culture and mm-hmm. recreation and all those things. The guy has been visible, bruh. Mm-hmm. He's been there for the people on social media yeah, where no, you can get him anytime. You yeah. can communicate with him. He's yeah. been on TV, yeah, he's, conversing, he's, you know, talking, yes, talking everywhere. and yeah, everywhere. everywhere. So yeah. obviously what he is doing as well, mm-hmm. he is doing good for his party, not mm-hmm. just the GNU. Because no, at the end no, of the day, no, we he's forget. He's doing good for his party because yes. right now we're going to, like, like right now we have, we trust in Gaten. Like, I don't mm-hmm. know, I've only seen his few moves ah. was there for Drake. Yeah, yeah, every yeah. Every sport, see, you know, he's there, he's there. He looks like his hands on. I, I saw him try to do like he went to a, I don't know, it was a high school. Sure. They were doing like a kickboxing match. Mm-hmm, I saw him mm-hmm. there get his karate on. I saw him so as well with that guy, Limpopo boy, the dancer. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so he's been there he, for almost sh- everyone in such a short period of time to say, mm-hmm. This is what I'm capable of. Yeah, this is I what I can things. do. I will move things, yeah. And I'll make things happen. And what he can do, mm-hmm. it shows that it means that is what his party is capable of doing. Yeah, as the leader, because he's the head. He's showing that I, if I'm leading this, this is what's going to happen. So, f- I don't know. For this uh, few months that I've seen Gaten, mm-hmm. I, have, I, I trust in Gaten. But then what's know. your take now, bro, mm-hmm. on the progressive caucus seemingly disappearing? Mm-hmm. Just before, I think, the projection that we had for the GNU, mm. I think before the GNU was established, 
a lot of naysayers, mm. even us, we said it, we don't see it lasting for that long. But now it seems like the progressive caucus that was pulling away from the GNU, that was yeah. saying all the nasty things about the GNU, is the one that now is, is being shaken. Mm. Floyd leaving the MK, uh, Floyd leaving, leaving the, the EFF the AF, AF, to see. join the MK. Eesh, you see now, now, are because... We, are we still going to have that relationship that was seemingly developing but between now, the EFF and the MK after so, this so move? So now, now we're, right now, we're only looking at it as maybe the progressive, uh, what was it, progressive what? Progressive caucus. The progressive caucus, was, yeah. was it only the EFF and the MK? It seemed more like that because they were the the, 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 uh, the party with the, party the yeah with the, the biggest vote. support. So I think the other party mm. was ATM, but UDM. They kind of like stood in between. Where because I think you know when you are a one party leader, yeah, the leader takes all the decision, and if the mm. leader is offered a better position in the mm. GNU, it's gonna quickly change tune. You know, I feel like if the Progressive Caucus mm. had a had a positive uh, agenda. Mm. All, all different parties have the, had, had a positive agenda. Mm. Um, even if parties fail, mm. the members who were of that progressive uh, caucus mindset, mm. Mm. they will they will just okay. This party has failed, Maramina. This is what I stand for. Them. I feel like the main part is not supposed to be political party it's supposed to be the principles individuals are standing on so you're saying it's supposed to be based yeah. on ideologies I, more than yeah particular yeah anything. that's 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 why you know like um I'm, I'm also thinking you know that i think i think i heard was it was who was this i'm not sure but i think you know the main reason you know like um uh, maybe for example floyd mm -hmm. he left the eff to mm -hmm. the mk sure. because they both look similar part they both look like similar parties he he looked at um which one maybe um has more principles that i i i follow i believe in mm -hmm. you and, know? And, and, and talk of floyd mm -hmm. he's been uh assigned as the national mm -hmm. organizer mm -hmm. yeah yeah is it the yeah, national, national organizer, organizer in the MK. Yeah, yeah. What lies ahead for him in the MK party that we f can feel like he wasn't able to full fully fulfill in the EFF? Because and he's been in the EFF. We've yeah. seen what the EFF can do, yeah. what they were able to do. Yeah. Now, what is what are his duties in the MK? What is it that he's supposed to do? Now, I think his job now is. I think. The EFF, apart from um, Julius Malema's um, charisma, mm. his, his 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 speech, his his his, his um, sense of showmanship, mm -hmm. like Floyd was like the mastermind behind, you know, in terms yeah, of yeah. Some people have even calling him the brain, the brains, you know. So right now he's given the char the 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 opportunity, you know. Um, to set up the marketing for for MK to 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 reach out because I think I, I heard him I heard him saying something he was like if we're not gonna win most of the the provinces we're gonna win all of the provinces yeah, yeah. so like he has a, he has a strategy so like he's he's he's, he's, he's busy gonna be strategizing strategizing on how mm. they're gonna go to Western Cape Eastern mm. Cape mm. Uh, mm. KwaZulu Natal Northern Cape even enter Limpopo sure. you know enter yeah enter oh. any territory where you know where EFF is most dominant because that's you remember in the other podcast I feel like uh, Zoom Jacob Zoom is going for the whole country yeah. he's trying to win every black man yeah, here, bro. You said yeah, Micholos is going for the ah, kill. He's, yeah, he's going for the kill, bro. <laughs> like ah, yeah, that's why he wants his guy, bro. <laughs> hey. So so we, we like apart from his uh, education, maybe according to to the British standards or sure, or the sure. modern day standards, mm -hmm. no matter that guy is a smart guy. Mm -hmm. We don't. I don't know where he got his training from or whatever the training is is a really smart guy and i feel that's why i'm looking at it in a sense of uh, we most of us are seeing that the anc that's left them is 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 they, they they're looking like puppets they can be controlled because if 
you were put in a position by people with money and you, you can never have more money than them they will always have the power and the authority to tell you what to do you know mm-hmm. so like when you look at the mks most of them they don't care about uh, the white monopolies they don't they, they they believe you know we we can as we, if we combine together as africans we can do something better and we trust in the new bricks you know the bricks i think the bricks is and the there's, issue. there's something bro that I don't know if maybe this was a stumbling block for the EFF, yeah. where with what Mkonto Wesis was doing, they are establishing all these other tripartite alliances that are now going to win people within the working environment, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. within the industries, mm. within the mining industry, mm. the teachers' union, they yes. established that. And now they are on course to establish a women's party. Yeah. And once wow. they do that, you know, mm-hmm. we have a lot more women in SA yeah, than men yeah. in the world, actually. Sure. It's like that. It's like so that. if you win, the, you win the, women, the women, you win their kids too, bro. You win bro. their kids too. Like, bro. You can even win their families at the same time through the women. Yeah. So if you win the women vote, yeah. what you're actually doing is we can compete. We, we, we're not talking about those ones who are working, the yeah. working class. We're yeah. just talking about women separately. Women separately. If you win them, yeah. then you stand a chance. And you what he's doing is, bro. he saw the ANC Women's League, mm-hmm. how strong it is, how yeah. women are loyal to mm-hmm. that party, bro. Look yeah. at your grandma and your grand-grandma. Exactly. Since they joined that party, they've yeah. been voting for it mm. ever since. Yeah, women are loyal. So that's the same thing that yeah. they're trying to do now. They're trying to use um, Sholozi yeah. to win the women into the MK. And I once they do that, ideas, you yeah. establish a youth league party mm-hmm. as well that is yeah. very strong. Yeah. And now it's you everywhere. stand to win the elections. That's why the next elections, are, I'm looking at MK as, if not number one, number two, bro. You think they're going to topple the ANC? Yeah, unless if maybe they come up now with maybe crazy men days that we, we've never heard of. I, th- I think, I think the, st- the stability of the party itself mm-hmm. will uh, determine where they will land in the next election. Because sometimes what actually kills a political party is mm-hmm. not outside influence, mm-hmm. is the influence within. Yeah, but right now, like I'm looking at it as... Um, maybe let's just say the top 10 or whoever is on board there mm. when they coming together um, mm-hmm. all all uh, zoom um, that other guy who's uh, the which one the spokesperson the spokesperson yeah. and all oh, you mean the guy the doctor uh, dr Chope. dr Chope. And, I, I, and i saw as well there were movements mm-hmm. you saw the migration right no no i didn't migration of uh, huge political figures from former anc mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to the mk mk so like so now my my idea was like when they meet there at the head 